Uh, intro to the Hemingway Daiquiri, <clears throat> take two. Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today we are making the Hemingway Daiquiri. This is also called the Hemingway Special. I personally have always just called it a Hemingway, but it is a riff on the classic Daiquiri. In fact, it's probably one of the most popular riffs on the Daiquiri. In fact, I have probably over the years made this cocktail more than any other sour style cocktail because guests love it. It's a crowd pleaser. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go make a Hemingway daiquiri to the bar. Ernest Hemingway did not create the Hemingway daiquiri that we know today. He created an early rendition of it, but it was very different than the one we are enjoying these days. The legend is that in the early 1930s, he was in Havana, Cuba, and popped into a bar called El Floridita. There he saw a lineup of icy cold daiquiris and asked to try one. Upon having a sip, he said, I like it, but I would prefer it without any sugar and double the rum. Now, Hemingway was diabetic, so it could be maybe he said no sugar because he was diabetic, Although I did read some accounts that said he just did not like sugary drinks, even before he was diagnosed with diabetes. So I don't know. He didn't want sugar in the drink though. That's a very sour cocktail. Double the rum and that is a very potent sour cocktail. Now it's no secret that Hemingway liked his drinks. The man liked the sauce. In fact, some accounts say that he would sometimes drink as much as 16 cocktails a day. Nobody should be drinking 16 cocktails a day. Clearly the man had a problem. Anyway, the drink that he created was soon called the Papa Doble. The locals in Havana called Hemingway Papa as a term of endearment and the doble because he had a double shot of rum. The recipe obviously changed over time. I'm guessing Hemingway was the only person who was drinking Papa Dobles. And so they added in maraschino liqueur to give it a little sweetness and grapefruit juice. Now it's evolved further since then. And now it's common to add in simple syrup. Long story short, Hemingway probably wouldn't like this version of his daiquiri if he were to have it today, but we are doing it this way because we are not Hemingway. If you decide you need more rum, maybe you can have another cocktail. Now the booze. To make this recipe, we're gonna want light rum, maraschino liqueur, fresh lime juice, fresh grapefruit juice, simple syrup, and a grapefruit. The light rum traditionally would be a Cuban style rum. If you can't get Cuban rum, which I can't, you could use a Puerto Rican rum, that'd be very good. This is neither. This is another light style rum, but I really like the Real McCoy 3 in this drink just because it has a nice creaminess to it. There's a number of light rums that are gonna be great in this cocktail. You go ahead and pick your favorite. The maraschino liqueur, this is an Italian cherry liqueur, which is made with the fruit and the pits. Uh, for lack of a better word, it has a little funkiness to it, almost like a, a nutty flavor, and a little goes a long way. So we're gonna use a little bit of this for sweetness. We've got two juices here. We've got fresh lime juice and fresh grapefruit juice. I'm gonna go heavier on the lime juice to stay true to the original daiquiri. The grapefruit is gonna be more of an accent. And then the simple syrup, this is my semi-rich syrup, one and a half parts sugar to one part water. The grapefruit, this is optional. I'm going to be doing what's called a regal shake. I'm gonna take a swath of the grapefruit peel and shake that up into the cocktail. That expresses some of those grapefruit oils and you just get a punchier grapefruit flavor in the drink, which is really nice. And a lime for garnish. If you want any of these bottles, as always, head on over to Curiata, check out my collection and tell Joey I say hi. Let's build. Grab a shaking tin. We're gonna shake this one up uh, like you would a classic daiquiri. Get your glassware chilled. I'm gonna serve this in a coupe. I need my jigger. Let's start with the rum. One and a half ounces of light rum. To that we can add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, half an ounce of our semi-rich simple syrup, quarter of an ounce of our fresh grapefruit juice, quarter of an ounce of the maraschino liqueur, and one swath of our grapefruit peel. I'm just going to express the oils Drop it right in, just like that. Now we can add ice and shake. Let's shake this up for about 10 to 15 seconds or so and double strain into a chilled cocktail glass. For garnish, we're gonna do a little lime wheel. Some people will do a cocktail cherry. Go right ahead if you wanna do that. Can you tell how ugly this lime wheel is? Okay, good, right on the edge. And there we have the Hemingway Daiquiri. Cheers. Oz, get over here. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oz has had this. I, I've had this before. I'm not gonna act surprised because I'm a terrible liar. And I'm not yeah. a good actor, but I will give you my genuine reaction. Mm. Yep. Still good. Still good. Still, Still delicious. Good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
I really do like it. It is a complex daiquiri with just a little bit of that maraschino. I think that's really nice. It does give it just some depth and interest. The oil from the grapefruit is really good because it does taste grapefruity, mm -hmm. but it's not grapefruit juice, even though there's a quarter of an ounce in there. Uh, it is more of a daiquiri in that it's this bright, refreshing, light crisp cocktail. I will say, I, normally I'm fairly neutral about maraschino. If it's in there, fine, but I'm not like, yes, maraschino. But this, I feel like it is tasty in there. It tastes good. Easy to drink. I like it with a single serving of rum as opposed to a double. And I like the sugar in it. I guess, I guess that's it. Do you want to do the sign off here? Oh, sure, I'll do All the right. sign off. Okay, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Wait, what was, how does it start? Thanks for watching. There we go. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Maybe watch another video. You know, if it's up next, mm. click on that up next thing. What do you say after that? Oh, I say things like, don't forget your merch. Oh, don't forget your merch. Sign up for the newsletter. There you go. We also have a Patreon. If you're looking for coffee beans, check oh, out Bartender's beans. Blend. Anders is a coffee brand. Yeah. Go shop for coffee. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of this cocktail, what the ratio oh, is. Call to you. action. Good. Yeah. Call to action. Let us know how you like your Hemingways. That about does it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.